All right, guys, this is Infamous Thorlex here again. We're going to go ahead and take a uh, demo video of the game Dynasty. And you guys leave in the comments of what do you guys think of the game and what what do you want to see from here on. Okay. So to start off, in this game, you actually need source to play or activate cards. Uh, each clan has a different source image. This deck, uh, this card deck, I'm using, I'm using Spartner, so I'm using this one. If you're using the Wizards, you're using this one like this. Okay. Um, when you're playing, or every time you, you start your, your phase, you need to put a source right over here. When you play an actual source, you draw a card from your deck. Okay. When you don't have an actual source, you can still play any card from your hand, but when you play it, you don't draw a card from your deck. So you can not run out of source. So the incentive is just basically putting, trying to put these down. Yeah, so you can just like uh, gain back the card you lost. Okay, so when you want to play cards, you need to have at least the same amount of source that it says here. So let's say this one. Yeah, that's one. So you need at least one of that same source in your source uh, area, and you can play it. Uh, when it's fighter cards, you need to have at least two source, at least for this one. This one is two. So you need two source. When you have two source, you can actually play this card for free. But you actually need to have two. One to two, you can play it as long as you want, as many times as you want on the field. But when it comes to three or four, let's just say this card that is a level, this, this card that is four, you need to have at least four sources, right? But you need to tap two for it. When it's level 3, you need to tap 1, but you need to have the active source right over here. For support cards that are these cards right here, that they don't have an attack or a description in the bottom, they just have the effect and the icon right over here, you actually need to pay the full cost of the card. So if it's 4, you need to have 4 and pay the actual 4 to actually pay them. Alright. The battle system of this game is very direct. Let's just say your drifter card is right here and mine is right over here. If I attack your drifter card you have to tap it that means you're attacking and my attack is the same as yours so if it's the same it will go through. Mm -hmm. Okay so you can actually defend from your hand with any fighter card and you will defend with this little defense points right over here. Okay. It'll be right over here. And that defense will actually boost up your power. So the defense will sum up to your power. Okay. And now that's when you, you block it. So if you use this from your hand, it'll go straight to the realm. Okay. And um, you can defend from the field only with fighter cards that have the effect Guardian in their text. Okay. Yes. Those are the only ones. And you can only use that effect once per turn. Even though they're tapped, you can still use the effect if you haven't used it. Okay. To guard. Those that have guardian or counter guards. Okay. Okay. Counter guard is a new system we, we we created for this game. So let's just say you attack me with seven, mm -hmm. and I'm at seven. I can use counter guard from my hand to actually defend myself, and my five will turn into a ten, and then it'll be more than your attack. Then it's going to be your turn to out combo my attack from cards from your hand or on the field if they say guardian. Then after that is gonna be my turn to actually out combo what you did to me. It all depends if you want to out combo it or not. If you okay. do, then it's gonna be my turn to try it. If you don't, then nothing happens. If I win when I create when I uh, activated the counter guard effect, mm -hmm. all the cards you use are destroyed. And okay. if you win, all the cards I use are destroyed. But the Drifter is never destroyed. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Uh, you cannot use um, Guardians uh, more than once per turn. And you can move one card from the field once per turn, only that turn. Okay. So let's just say you place the card here. And then you place this one right here. And you finish attacking it or, or you finish what you wanted to do. And then, okay, I want to finish my turn and I want to move this back. You can but only one card. You cannot do twice or, or stuff like that. You, can, you cannot do that. And there's another system called Squad Strike. 
It's like uh, boosting your attack. So you do seven, and then you do a squat strike by putting this one over here. So that means my seven will be plus by your 20. So it'll be 27 to attack mine. And you cannot keep doing it. Okay, I do this, I do something else. You can't keep boosting it. It only has to be that first attack, and that's it. Okay. Cool? Each time, uh, and this is for the, so we can start the game already. Uh, each time you draw a card, and you see these icons right here. Mm -hmm. uh, when you see the fist icon, you give 5,000 power to someone on the field. When you see the plus icon, you gain a life. When you see the, the electric bolt right here, you take a card from your hand and you add it to your source and rest. And if you see this, the little card with the little arrow on it, I mean, you discard a random card from your opponent's hand. Okay. That's each time you draw a card besides the draw spell. Okay. Cool. Uh, you you get uh, 50 main cards in your deck that are the ones with the gray back, and okay. your drifter cards are the ones with the gold back. You get uh, 10 drifter cards and none more, no less, including the deck. It has to be 50, no more, no less. So, any questions? No. Nope. Alright, so, so it makes it hard. Yeah. <laughs> so we draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can mull again if you want to. You at least want to have two sources in your hand. So that way you can have like a good clean start. Okay. You okay? I'm gonna mulligan two. My drifter comes out. Level one drifter. He does nothing for now. I play this level one. In the bottom card. Cards that are in the front row, even though they're in the battle in the battle mode, that is the active mode like this, they can be attacked. But the back row, if they're in in battle mode, they cannot be attacked unless they're tapped. Okay. Okay. So it's effect when he's played. Draw five cards. Look for level three or four and add it to my hand. I whipped. This is my first turn. I do not attack. And I pass over to you. Draw. Source. If you activated the source, you draw a card. And if it has an icon you wish to activate it, you can. You don't have to. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now you can take a card from your hand and put it in the source and rest. We have nine lives. Portal to Ipsum, 
is the wizard fighter card. I'm on the same level as that with the drifter and add it to him. Triple the rest and I whip. How do I begin to attack? You can attack whenever you want and you just come back to the, to the main phase. So the entire main phase, you can attack, summon, activate support cards, you can do whatever you want. So okay. whenever you want, you can attack or just activate. So I can actually attack? Yes. Versus yes. And when I attack your draw card, that's right. And you wish you, you can just attack with this card, just simple like that, or do a squash strike and make it a double, is all up to you. So you want to do your 7? And I'll take the hit. Go ahead again. I'll put this. This is not an actual source I can want to draw. I'm a 2 source. I level up. My level 1 is says when I level up a, a card on top of this one, I draw a card, so I do. Play this one on the bottom, go to the top five. Let's go level three or four, I see trip. this one at the bottom. If I control two or more partners on the field, he gains Guardian, so that means I can defend with it on the field. Okay. Alright. Uh, I'm going to move this card from to the front. I'm going to put this one as well. I'm going to use his effect. Once per turn, I can give one of my fighter cards 5,000 power, so I give it to him. And he's at 10. Okay. I attack your Drifter. Draw a card. So 10 to your 7. Well, let's see. I'm going to take my 10 to attack your 5. Okay. And go ahead. But if you choose, if you want to, you can. Yeah, I choose to do that. Okay. Back in hand three. Alright, I get two. Level up? Yeah. Or then let's get to level three. No, you can't. Okay. Level three is when you have six five. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this one activates first. Draw a card. That's right. Level up. And his effect activates right now. Since you leveled up, you live in the top five cards. Look for a wizard and wizard uh, source and place it in your source area and rest. You can have one. Wizard source? Yes. And rest. Okay. No, it has to be the actual source. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right now you have a lead advantage of four sources at 22. Look it up. So technically, if I'm a level tier at the moment, I can play nothing higher? Yes, you can. Yeah. You can play three or less. Okay. Yes. So the summoning of fighter cards or uh, support cards does not involve with the drifter card. Drifter okay. card will just lead the way of the fighter and the cards of the attack. And it'll play like a level 3 if you set a test Yes. And to have at least 3 active points. Yeah. 
the Athens. Okay. So every level one or lower wizard gains plus 1,000. Yes. In the field or in the realm? Uh, in the field or in the field. No, it, it's both at the same time. On the field or in the realm. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, placement, give three to a fighter. Give it to a team. Okay. You can also, if you want, place the guardian when you finish the turn in the back. And you don't have time for this. That way I cannot attack your, your guardian. Go ahead and push out swing to that. Turn to my five. Yes. I'm gonna use my guardian. So that's five five and fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. And they go back. So yeah, that was actually successfully blocked. Okay, and what happens is it stays there? It stays there, yeah. Okay. Yep. Draw a card. So, 13 to my 10? Yes. I'm going to use this to protect. So, 5 to my 10, that's 15. Okay. Go to the row. That's 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. 11 to him? Yep. He's gone. And we're going to move her. We're going to move. Draw. Still no source. Here. I'll place him. That one. When he's attacked, I'm going to get five to him. Okay. And when he attacks, he's going to try that four more spots in the field. I'm going to attack your drifter. Ten, I draw one. Six, five, four, six, six, one. I'm gonna do twenty here. Okay, one with the Yep. So is it two different effects or the same effect? It's two different effects. Um, one is to negate, and the other one is if I summon or activate uh, a fighter card, you can activate that and discard the same right. type of card. Yeah, and it'll negate it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna place the level one to draw one. I'm gonna move this one up. I'm gonna put my guard in here. Okay. Right. I'm gonna put three to him. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Alright. Thirteen. Two. Thirteen. Thirteen. Let's take it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and roll. Put another force Critical and survive. So you take a life? Yes. You're at six, you can now evolve to level three. Right. To level three. Um, but I try not to one extra level.
Play, the Hoops Distro, for the Old Spirit Lord. And I can play over and throw our person. Okay. You gotta play over? Or they just have to die? Uh, once per turn, you can actually move a card. So you can move a card to the realm and play a card. Oh, so the, you move them to the yeah. Okay. Yes. Um. What do you do, Lex? You have to do the same thing. Since my it's uh when it's level through a higher drifter, can find it one over. So I pay one. Ability. Uh -huh. Top ability. Uh level one or lower fighting uh on the curriculum. Or fewer fighters fighting on the curriculum for the you try to take those. on the field being guardian mm -hmm. and formation if they have two or more spartans on the field when this card attacks uh, he gains 5,000 okay so I'm gonna tap two because I have four to place her 
use one of your opponent's level 3 and a left and destroy it. Her? Okay. Oh, uh, actually, there's a good one. That's right, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a oh yes, it goes back to your Discarded hand. by skill, return it back Dude. to your hand. Dude, <laughs> yeah. Give it back. Dude. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. <laughs> 20 here and I draw one. If I, if I do Guardian, it switches the attack over or what? It, it gains the... Oh, okay, they're gonna pass. Yeah. So 20? 18, yeah. Guard from the field if you want and from the hand. And the field is only the guard. Swing for 20, right? 18. Oh no, wait, because she has 8, 9, and 11, 12, 13, 13. So that's 23. Yeah. You're good. 20. Yeah, that's it. Alright. No, she goes, she goes back. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do 20 to your 10 right there, to your Guardian. Go ahead. Draw? Yep. Yeah. Ooh, I'm about to make it even worse. Uh, and I have to be what? You're at 6? No, you can't. You have to be at level 5 to do level 4 if you want. Okay. Move. Okay. 82. Okay. Alright. You play 3 for that. Five. 4 is 2. Uh, 5 is 3. 5 is 2. Yes. Then 2 sources. Oh, great. <laughs> If you do R level 1 or less, gain plus 10 pounds for the operation on that shit. Alright. So this is this is a 1 thanks to him. Yep. Okay, so this was at 13, was it? Yeah, it's at yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, 13. 13, so that's 23, 15, 18, 15, 15. <laughs> Pay one, you get a thousand, they get to drop two for each level one or lower. No, you get to attack. Oh yeah. Yeah. You gain the the attack. So, so it's 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep. 21, you drop two. No icon. No icon. I'm gonna get that. One and I put this card back to your hand, and you can't play it for the rest of your turn. That's fine. Big one. Mm -hmm. Yep, she's critical. <laughs> you need to squash that. Oh, you use, you use counter guard when I'm attacking. Oh, okay. yes. And you don't have to. 
pay the amount to that kid. Okay. We just, it's like protecting it from that. Correct. Yes. Okay. So you... 13 to your fist. And he's guarding. Okay. 13 to your fist. And he's guarding over here. 18 to your fist. Drifting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> How many cards are you on? Two, oh. four, six, yeah. seven. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Good job. Six to three. Sounds great. Okay. Drop. Put this one right here. Okay. I'm going to put this one. Tap three. When this card attacks, hits, you destroy one card on the, or return a card to the field to the hand. If you do, draw one card. Interesting. I'm do this. 25. Here. And if you do this for each one. If I, if I do that, I can destroy or uh, put a card to the hand. And if I did that, I'll draw it. That's cool. So I can make the effect. I'm gonna pop her. I don't like her. I'm gonna draw a card. So I did that. Okay. And I drew this, the icon, the discard. So I discard a random card from my hand. This one. Okay. Okay. Move him up. I'm gonna attack the drifter right here. I'm gonna draw one. 15 to 15. Take it. 20 right here to the, the dragon. Come Ooh. So that's 24 to my 20. I'm gonna use her, so that's. 35. The only way I'm using them is because they have Guardian. And. Okay, so that's 20, 30, 40. To 40. Oh yeah, it's 24, yeah, that's right. 24, so you yeah. 40. You think they're limited? No, they're not going. Oh, 44. 44. Oh, crap. Right. Yeah. Since it was a counter guard and you won, my cards were destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I just wiped your people. Oh, my guardians were there, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks. Your guardians are gone now, boy. This is not looking good for me. Um.
hier. Pay one for reveal. Yep. We drop one for drop two. Yeah. Yep. We yep. Yep. Twenty-five. That's it. Twenty-five. You can't put that. Thirty. Thirty-two. 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 <laughs> you beat me, man. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> That was good. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. And you're still at five left. So so far as the game went on, um, it actually is fun. Um, I was, like I said, it was kind of, it was it was really fun. Um, there was I didn't see too much of a power creep between the two decks. This is more like how you play. Yeah. Than anything else. So. Um <clears throat> uh, leave comments up below of what do you guys think so far of the match. Uh, the other video of the actual you know interview with Jan, the creator of the game and the links to all the descriptions needed for the game such as the Facebook page, also the um <coughs> The uh, Kickstarter. The Kickstarter. I don't know. That always keeps going out of my mind. Uh, but it'll be available on the other video, so just follow it. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Subscribe, and we will see you soon.